So I am noticing this little end cap right here. It looks like Stranger Things stuff. So they have like the only at Target Eddie, the Blacklight Dustin Pop right there. The five pack, four pack, four pack. That guy is right there. You guys didn't even know that this was gonna be a grail. I put out that video and nobody said a thing, nothing. <laughs> it's just so funny because there's a whole stack of them and no one said, hey, go back and grab those, nothing. You guys didn't even know what they were because the season four finale hadn't even come out yet. So no one even knew what it was. Yeah, so I'm just waking up and I'm seeing this crazy Eddie Pop going for like $115, maybe more now. It's just crazy and people are going nuts. They're buying them so fast after the season finale of Stranger Things. But you guys didn't tell me nothing when I saw them in stores. Go figure, let the collecting begin. What's up guys, I'm Jason. You're watching another video right here on Phoenix Poptastic. Thank you so much for watching these videos. We sure do appreciate you. So I'm sitting outside on this nice calm day in the morning in Phoenix. I just wanna give a little talk about this Stranger Things Eddie Pop right here. It makes no sense to me that you guys are going nuts over this pop. I get that. Now again, let me start here by saying I'm not a Stranger Things fan. I have not watched the show. My oldest daughter just started watching the show. She might be at the end of season one. Maybe she's into season two. Not really sure, but she's really into it at the moment, but she hasn't gotten to the whole season four hypeness that's going on right now. But I did see the pop in store. The only at Target Eddie. I saw this Eddie pop there and no one mentioned anything. This video that I saw it in had 1.4K views. It came out like three weeks to a month ago and nothing. And I'm pretty sure I've seen it in stores since then. Maybe I wasn't filming. I'm not gonna sit there and go through all the footage that I took over the past month or so and see if I did see it in store. You'll just have to watch the recent videos to see if I did. But I have seen it around. It's not been like super hard to find or anything. I wish I would have picked a few up, but not being a fan, I just didn't think to pick them up. And then the season finale comes out and you guys go crazy over this pop. It sells out everywhere, all over Target, off of the Funko shop. Um, Big Apple Collectibles is now selling them for $29.99. As you can see here from poppriceguide.com, the Eddie Pop is going from $15 to $115. The special edition sticker here is only coming in at $15. While the Target exclusive sticker is trending at 115. So you can see the big difference there. It's all hype, you guys. I'm telling you guys, this is gonna restock. This is one of those pops that will restock. You know, don't go crazy and spend $200 on this pop. It's a Target exclusive. Very, very little Target exclusives hold a lot of value. There's, I have a Batman braced 1989 Target exclusive that came in a box like a pop and tea combo box uh, gift box that had a shot glass and all kinds of stuff in it. That thing's only worth like 50 bucks and it's a Target exclusive that wasn't just on the shelf. This is a Target exclusive that's on the shelf and it's a brand new pop. Any of the Funko Pops made from 2016, 17, 18 and on don't really hold a lot of value. I would say 2019 and on, really don't hold a lot of value because they've made so many of them. So try not to go crazy over this Eddie Pop. It's, it, I'm pretty sure it'll restock. Now, it hasn't restocked yet, so I could be wrong. It could never restock. This could stay being a $50, $40 pop. Very possible, but it's not worth the $120. I just don't, I don't understand why people spend that much money. Just wait. I understand that you want to get it in the FOMO, fear of missing out. You'll never be able to get it. And you know what? If it does stay at $100, $200, it's gonna stay there. It's not gonna go any higher. So just wait it out and see if it does drop a little bit. Cause there are no Target exclusives that I know of that are worth $100 or more. Maybe you guys can point some out to me, but I don't really know of any offhand. So don't go crazy over this pop, you guys. And next time you see a grail, a stack of grails, <laughs> let me know about it. You guys didn't even know that this was gonna be a grail. I put out that video and nobody said a thing, nothing. <laughs> it's just so funny because there's a whole stack of them and no one said, hey, go back and grab those, nothing. 
you guys didn't even know what they were because the season four finale hadn't even come out yet. So no one even knew what it was. And then it came out and people went crazy and now everybody wants to pop. Go figure. Well, that's all I got. If you did get one of the Eddie Pops in store for retail, let me know down below. And if you bought an Eddie Pop for the $100 plus price tag after market, let me know down below too. We will promise we won't roast you for it. And we'll see you next time on Phoenix Poptastic. You're still here? The video's over. Click one of these. Go ahead.